Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Here I'm taking you on my weight loss journey and uh, today's topic is staying positive. <laughs> well, sometimes it's not always easy to stay positive, especially with the fluctuation in your weight uh, while you step on the scale. However, it is completely possible to do so. I uh, kind of been doing the right mindset. You know, I don't let it get to me if I see the weight. Uh, fluctuation especially since I'm expecting the weight fluctuation um, I guess it's all a matter of perspective for me where I used to have expectations of they were unreal and any little deviation would get me real down so my new philosophy for a little while has been um, hope for the best but expect the worst so when you're expecting the worst, you have very low expectations of what you're going to accomplish. So therefore, you're not going to get too angry, or at least I don't get too angry, when I have very low expectations. Granted, I do want to succeed, but if I have too high of expectations and that ends up uh, not happening, well then I start feeling really down and just don't want to you know deal with it and the way I deal with it is well I, I didn't make it so uh, it's not worth uh, doing well you know darn well this is worth doing and I'm gonna make it this time and that's just no if ands or buts about it it just has to be done um, how can I improve my positivity I improve my positivity just by every day learning a little bit more and putting a little more effort into it and figuring out exactly what it is I need to do and I just do it. Uh, one negative person can bring down the rest of the group. This is uh, so uh, all, all the time. I mean if I have one friend like 10 friends hanging out and one friend's like oh, this ain't worth it. Well you know a couple other ones just drop out and next thing you know nobody wants to do anything. Uh, good service versus bad service at a restaurant you know if you had a really good service sometimes you might not even tell anybody I mean like oh yeah so what it, you know it, it goes by the wayside versus if you have bad service you're telling all your friends and of course those friends are like well I'm not going to that restaurant um, positivity helps lift my kids attitudes you know when I was having not as good of an attitude the kids picked up on that and I love the fact that now that I have a positive attitude it's reflecting on them and you know the kid you're the you're supposed to be the example lead by the example of the kids and you know I've seen that day by day with my own children and I'm just blessed now and I feel grateful that I finally figured out and you know you think it should be common sense but <laughs> hey got to get to it. Um, remember the Titans. Attitude reflects leadership. You know, um, if you have a bad attitude, then the rest, you, you know, in my case, my kids are going to have bad attitudes. But if I have a good attitude, my kids will have good attitudes because I'm supposed to be their leader. You know, I don't want a dictatorship, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, I found a good positive attitude can make a bad situation better a lot of times I'll, I'll be in a bad situation and I'm thinking hey man uh, just it's gonna get better for instance I like I love to disc golf and say I, I did real bad which is like a double bogey triple bogey or whatever I could allow that to affect the rest of my game but I don't I just think well the next the next one I'll get three or two and you know it, it, overall it ends up being a lot better because I have a better attitude Anyway, that's um, the end of the staying positive little moment I had, and I'll see you next time. Uh, my next one's going to be about pre-planning meals.